What's up everyone, Take 10 here, welcome back to another video, and as you guys can see, we're going to be opening up three of these mystery tins from Walmart. These are actually a great value, and who knows what you can get inside, I've seen some people get some really great stuff. Now on the front here, it does show a 1516 Series 1 Upper Deck Pack. On the side here, it does say 1617 Series 1, but you can get anything in here. Now, as opposed to the last time that Walmart did have these outs, because MG Holding does uh, release these, it is a little bit different than last time. You get four sealed packs, just like you did last time, but what it replaced was the 10 random cards inside. Now, you still have mystery items, which are one in every two tins, so hopefully we get some mystery items in here. But hopefully we get some really cool stuff. So it's not guaranteed you're going to get this pack here or this one. Likely with MJ Holding with all their mystery stuff. I'm expecting to get some score products in here. I don't like them. I hate them. But they're likely going to be included in some of these or likely all of them. These here are only $16 each, and I already see them on eBay going for $70, so that's very good that I was able to actually find them because I've been waiting for them to re-release them, so let's just get into it here. So, first look at the tin, and we do have a jersey card on it, so we did get one of the mystery items. Uh, this is a Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, it is Matt Frantanen, Ultimate Rookie, numbered out of 200, a dual jersey card. So that's cool, uh, just not really a player nor something that uh, is of interest to me. So I'll put that off to the side here. Inside here, sometimes it's hard to get them out. So let me try to get the packs out. So we did get four packs. We got 2020-21 Series 1. We have 2017-18 Series 1, which is awesome because I'm hopefully going to be looking for that uh, Tag Thompson. And then, of course, we got two packs of the score for 2012-13, which expects to get score out of these. I don't know why, but uh, I guess because it's so cheap and so many were made. It's just, in my opinion, a terrible product. But we're just going to go look through quick. Uh, we did get... Uh, one franchise, the rest is nothing of value. Next score here. Uh, we got a rookie that's just not good. So there we go. So now on to 1718 Series 1, which I just completed the base set not too long ago. Just going to go here. Forberg, Grease, Jason Spiza, Longo. We did get Tyler Sagan. Shining Stars, I might already have that card. And the rest is base. Put that there. And then 2020-21 uh, Series 1, which I'm actually looking to complete now. So we get Riley Smith, base, 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 uh, complete base pack. So, not the greatest, definitely not uh, the value, but let's see what we get in the next one here. Okay, first look, and we did get another ultimate rookie here, uh, same year, it uh, looks like. We got ultimate rookie numbered out of 200, a Temu Harkonnen dual jersey, uh, again nothing really that cool in my opinion. Let's see what we have, it looks like it's going to be the same exact as the last one, we have series 1. We have uh, of 2020, 2021, 2017, 18, and two score packs. So let's start and get the score out of the way. Uh, we did get Steven Stamko's uh, team. Interesting. Base, base, base. Not the best of cards. Not a huge fan. Definitely not worth picking up. Joe Thornton. Uh, we did get Phil Kessel, uh, Toronto Maple Leafs team score. I guess I'll put that to the side. Not really of any value. Uh, we'll do 2020 Series 1 now. Move some of the empty packs out of my way. Let's see if we can get... Oh, we did get a Young Guns. We got Alexander Alexeyev. 
I think I already have that one, so the rest is base. So at least we got a Young Guns. And then 17, 18, I'm hoping the Tag Thompson, that would be so cool. Uh, base, base, base. Sidney Crosby, Upper Deck Portraits, that's pretty cool. We did get a Series 1 checklist, 1 to 100. So that's pretty cool, we got a Sidney Crosby uh, card out of it at least. The base isn't worth anything to me because I already completed the complete base set. So put that there. We'll open up the last tin. These are $17 at Walmart. Or sorry, $16 at Walmart. So comment down below what you guys think. I've seen some people get some really good stuff. I've seen some people get uh, the 1516 Series 1 pack. I've seen Series 2 for that year as well. So I've seen people get some really great cards out of these. So far for me, not too much. Let's open up the last one here and see what we get. Uh, it, it literally is the same as the other one. The other one was numbered uh, 35. This is number 38 out of 200. Same exact card as the last one. So that's not a good sign. But my Walmart I did have a ton of these, so hopefully we will pick up a few more and see. Again, 2021 Series 1, 2017, 18, and then 2 score. So we got all the same packs. The ones I've seen other people open up online, uh, they got different packs out of it. They got some pretty cool stuff, so I likely am going to get a few more of these, but... All crap. We have uh, Mark Messier, Season Highlight. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Just because it's messier, I'll put it to the side because I do collect him. Score. All base. Oh, Jake Allen, rookie. That's pretty cool. Put that to the side. I like Jake Allen. I like goalies, so. That there's 17, 18, Series 1. Kadri. Spezza. Longo. All base, and it looks like some that we literally got in the last base, uh, last pack for that year. And 2020 21 Series 1, which is the base that I'm looking to complete now. Quinn Hughes. Uh, we did get a Tuka Rask portrait. Connor Brown, base, base, base. So, pretty cool. We did get some pretty okay stuff. We got an upper deck portrait for Tuka Rask. We got an upper deck portrait. Uh, for Sidney Crosby, which is one that I don't have for that year. We did get only one Young Guns, which is one that I already had. So, overall, not the greatest. The mystery items, at least all three tins did have a mystery item. It's just not the best one, which is not in my favor. I did see some people get some really good stuff out of it, but these ones here, having two of the same exact player, of the same exact jersey card... Uh, just not the greatest. So I likely am going to get a few more of these. If my Walmart does have some more, hopefully I can pick out some. Um, so far, so good. I did enjoy it. I love the mystery box experience. But so far, these three here did not have the value inside. Hopefully some of my other ones do. And I likely will get them as well. I do have a retail box of 2021 Series 1 on the way. I do have the uh, rookie set for that year, which hopefully I did get a Young Guns for the rookie sets. Uh, and then I think I also have a tin of that year as well because I, again I'm going for the base sense. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more of these tins opened on my channel, let me know. I'll go and get some more. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.